Hello friends, I am Sanjay Gupta. In this video, I am going to discuss features of Java. So before starting, if you are facing uh, the visibility problem in a YouTube video, you can improve your pixel quality by going into the setting. So these are my information. You can note these information for your study and placement purposes uh, so that you can uh, uh, get the knowledge of programming languages. So now coming on to the features of Java, uh, there is given many features of Java. They are also known as Java buzzwords. The Java features given below are simple and easy to understand. So you have to understand all these features of Java so that you can uh, face various questions related to Java in your Viva or placements. So first is simple, object oriented, platform independent, secured, robust, architecture neutral, portable, dynamic, interpreted, high performance, multi-threaded and distributed. So this is the list for features of Java. Now I am going to uh, explain each and every features of Java in detail. So first one is simple. So we have to discuss why Java is simple. So Java language is simple because syntax is based on C++. So easier for programmer to learn it after C++. So I hope you uh, have studied C++ uh, so you can easily learn Java. Removed many confusing uh, or rarely used features. For example, explicit pointer, operator overloading, etc. So in C++, these were uh, some problems uh, which was uh, not very much uh, clear in the programming language. So Java has removed these features. No need to remove unreferenced object because there is automatic garbage collection in Java. So in C++, you might have used destructor. So in Java, destructor has replaced with automatic garbage collection. Next is object oriented. So object oriented means we organize our software as a combination of different types of objects that incorporates both data and behavior. So object oriented programming is a methodology that simplify software development and maintenance by providing some rules. So these are some basic concepts of object oriented programming which are available in Java. So you might have studied these uh, features in C++ also. So object, class, inheritance, polymorphism, abstraction, encapsulation. These are some basic concepts of object oriented programming which are available in uh, C++ as well as in uh, Java. Next feature is platform independent. So a platform is a hard is the hardware or software environment in which a program runs. There are two types of platform software based and hardware based. Uh, so Java code can be run on multiple platforms example Windows, Linux, Sun, Mac etc. Java code is compiled by the compiler and converted into bytecode. So after uh, compilation, the code which we receive in Java is known as bytecode. So this bytecode is a platform independent code because it can be run on multiple platforms that is write once and run anywhere. So that's why Java is uh, more popular than other programming languages because of its platform independent nature. Next is secure. So why Java is secure? Uh, this is because of these three reasons. Uh, program run inside virtual machine. So every Java program runs inside Java virtual machine. Uh, Java virtual machine uh, is discussed in later tutorials. Uh, so it has three features: class loader uh, which adds security by separating the package from the classes of the local file system. Uh, from those that are imported from network sources. Bytecode verifier checks the code fragments for illegal code that can violate access rights to objects. And security manager determines what resources a class can access such as reading and writing to the local disk. So Java virtual machine is explained in detail in uh, my later tutorials. Next is robust. So robust simply means strong. Java uses strong memory management. There are lack of pointers that avoid security problem. There is uh, automatic garbage collection in Java. 
there is exception handling and type checking mechanism in java so these features make java robust architecture neutral there is no implementation dependent features uh, example uh, size of primitive types are set so uh, java is architecture neutral uh, because it is not uh, dependent uh, on uh, implementation environment then portable we may carry the java bytecode to any uh, platform so java bytecode is portable we can uh, uh, move a bytecode from uh, one machine to another then high performance java is faster than traditional interpretation since bytecode is close to native code still somewhat slower than a compiled language example c++ so java is uh, java provides high performance as compared to uh, many other programming languages distributed we can create distributed applications in java rmi and ejb are used for creating distributed applications so rmi and ejb are for uh, uh, advanced java uh, part uh, so you uh, will be uh, learning these features in advanced java we may access files by calling the methods from any machine on the internet then multi threaded a thread is like a separate program executing concurrently so uh, with the help of multi threaded feature we can run more than one functions simultaneously in java so we can write java program that deal with many tasks at once by defining multiple threads the main advantage of multi threading is that it shares the same memory threads are important for multimedia or web applications so you might use uh, browsers and in a browser you can open multiple tabs so this is the example of multi threading so these were the features of java these are very important you have to learn all the features so that you can face uh, various types of questions related to features uh, which are available in java these are my information uh, these information will be helpful for your study and placement purposes thank you for watching this video